The Oregon Coast Trail is a 425 mile hike that goes from the border of Washington all the way down to the border of California. And as a family, it's gonna take us about six weeks to complete. I started backpacking when I was just a kid and I started long distance hiking in 2015. So far I've done 2,000 miles of the Pacific Crest Trail. I've done all of the Appalachian Trail, all of the Pacific Northwest Trail and some smaller through hikes uh, in between. But this is like nothing that I've ever attempted to do before, hiking with a baby. When I first heard about this trail, my intention was to approach it as a uh, ultralight hiker or a lightweight backpacker, which is a totally different prospect than hiking with the family. Three different times I tried to plan out this hike and three different times things went wrong. The last one being the uh, coronavirus uh, pandemic that shut everything down on the Oregon coast. And once again, I was not able to hike it. When I started planning this hike for the fourth time, I was talking to Rex and I uh, was talking about how I would have to be four to six weeks away from the family and how that was kind of a bummer. And uh, we started talking about the prospect of whether or not we could take the family with us. And so it went from just kind of a uh, on the fly idea to something we really wanted to try to do. So we uh, got online and started looking up uh, people who have through hiked long distance hikes with babies and found out there was next to nothing except for one place where we found a couple that had hiked the entirety of the Appalachian Trail with their nine month old daughter. So we figured if they could do 2,200 miles on the Appalachian Trail, we could do 400. This is gonna be my first through hike. Uh, it's a much longer hike than what I've done before. I've accomplished a 70 mile hike in the Cascades, but with all the hard work that we've been putting in, I feel confident that we're going to make this work and six weeks on the beach with my family sounds like a dream come true. Hiking with a baby has definitely made some new challenges for us. Uh, the first major challenge is that uh, we have to have a special backpack in order to carry her down the trail. And uh, most of the room in that pack is, is designed to carry her and so there's just a few small pockets in it where I can carry all of our small gear, like our toiletries, our battery pack, mm -hmm. uh, just little odds and ends that we're gonna need on the trail, which means that Rex is gonna be carrying most of our stuff in her backpack, including our sleep system and our shelter system and uh, all of our food. And she'll be carrying three to four days of food at a time. So uh, we definitely had to make sure that we got out training and we tried to get out as much as we can with our busy schedules in multiple places, doing between three miles and seven miles round trip and trying to get as much elevation gain as we can uh, so we are ready for this trip, even though most of it is walking on the beach. We're out at Green River Community College doing a three and a half mile circuit around the college. They've got some really nice nature trails out here. And it looks like a, a fair amount of up and down on this circuit. Got the backpack fully loaded with the babes and all the stuff that I'll be carrying on the Oregon Coast Trail. Brux is up there, her backpack is, I think, mostly fully loaded. Uh, in addition to that, uh, on any backpacking trip that I've gone on, uh, except for the very beginning when I, I didn't know how to lighten up my gear yet, uh, my pack base weight has been between 12 and 15 pounds, and my full pack weight is usually somewhere between 22 and 25 pounds. But uh, in this case, we weren't able to do that because of how we have to carry, and so the pack weights are close to double that, so training was really important. 39.42 pounds. All right, 38.22. So a regular hiker going on this trail would be able to do resupplies in town, but we had to do some extra work and making sure that we had diapers and wipes and baby pouches, stuff that Juniper can't go without. We need to ensure that we had that. So we had a lot of planning to do in our resupply boxes to get ready for this trip. We also had to go through and find uh, baby clothes for her, oh, stuff that we could uh, actually wear on the trail. She's always taking her shoes off, so we had to find uh, shoes that would stay on her feet. So we have uh, little hiking boots with laces because those are the only things that we could put on her feet that she wasn't going to take off and we would lose down the trail. And we got our little North Face puffy jacket and some base layers. Uh, Marina was, wool hat. Yeah, Marina wool hat, Marina wool socks. So it was kind of fun shopping for her, just getting <laughs> her this tiny little miniature hiking gear. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> So it's gonna be challenging. You always have good days and bad days on the trail. Hiking has definitely taught me that. There's an adage that says that uh, if you have a day where you feel like you wanna go home on the trail, then wait three days before you make that decision to go home. And we'll have some rough patches, but we're pretty tough. Juniper's pretty tough, and I think we can do it. So come follow us on our adventure. And remember, get off your butts, go play outside. <laughs>